The fact is, every day of the week, in at least 60 countries, people are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ. The question is, where are these people? How severe is their suffering? Who is persecuting them? Is their situation improving or declining? To answer these questions and others, Open Doors International has been gathering data for more than 50 years. The result today is the World Watch List. This has become the best known, most widely accepted, authoritative source of information about the persecuted church. The World Watch List is compiled through extensive research at a field level. The list represents measurements that include places believers are being smashed through violent means, as well as places the church is being squeezed out of existence. Through a complex scoring grid, the World Watch List takes into consideration which kind of Christians are being persecuted. It accounts for where this is occurring, as well as its level of intensity in any given country. These factors are then incorporated by viewing persecution within five spheres of daily life. Private life refers to a person's freedom of thought and conscience in their own space. In many of the countries on the list, persecutors interfere in the private life of the individual. In China, there is freedom to be a Christian at home, but those who outwardly demonstrate their faith can face punishment at the hands of the government. In North Korea, the state seeks to deprive the Christian of the right to follow Jesus in any way, public or private. The act of believing in Jesus is outlawed. Family life expresses the pressures Christians experience within the family sphere, where persecutors seek to stop the spread of faith by whatever means they can. Most often, it is seen where families will disown, threaten, physically abuse, or even kill a family member who becomes a Christian. In Islamic states, this attack is often condoned by local or national law. Community life refers to the pressure on Christians to freely live their faith in the community sphere. But in cases where believers are dispersed into a hostile neighborhood, they are more susceptible to persecution from locals, angry mobs, or even authority figures. Christians are at high risk, even within their own neighborhoods, in places like Pakistan or Colombia. National life tracks the extent to which Christians are free to participate in civil society and public life. In Iran, the primary persecution Christians experience often comes from the state and far less from the family or community. Church life measures the limits placed on Christians to gather together, even secretly, to express their faith as a group. Additionally, the World Watch List takes into account hotspots of physical violence against Christians, profiling the communities where the most violence occurs. Christians in Orissa, India, face far more violence than those living in New Delhi. The World Watch List. It's not simply a compilation of statistical data. It is a global expression of the realities of persecution faced by individuals who have decided to follow Jesus. It enables the world to watch. It enables believers to pray. When one Christian suffers, we are all impacted by it.